Let's talk about two change frameworks that are extremely useful if you're trying to support a change in an organization. One framework, the first framework that comes from strategy, from Blue Ocean strategy originally, and it's called the ERRC framework. And let's take a look how that looks like. So we have these four windows. And the first one is E, second, R, R, C, which basically means to eliminate or to reduce, to raise or to entirely create. And this framework is usually used in strategy processes. So we have a product, for example, a circus, and within the circus, to bring it from a very old fashioned concept into the modern world, from like a circus with animals to Cirque du Soleil, what kind of things do we have to eliminate? What kind of things do we have to take out of the concept, like animals, for example? What do we have to reduce? What do we have to raise and what do we have to create? And there are numerous examples in Blue Ocean Strategy where companies use this framework, this grid, to improve their product. And this is something that we can also use not for an entire product, not for an entire industry, but to use it in a change project in an organization. And we're using that or something that is similar to this framework in a so-called sounding board. And a sounding board is quite an easy thing. You basically get feedback about how the change process is going from the employees who are affected by the change. And the setup is very easy. You just need a large space, depending on the number of people, obviously a larger space or a smaller space. So it can be a room or it can be an entire hall that you need if you have 50, 60 people in the room, which is possible, by the way. And then you take every corner of the room and you set up a board, basically, a large board. And on this board, you are asking four different questions. The question you are asking here is, what is going well in the process? The question you are asking here is, what is going bad in the process? On the third board, you are asking the people, what should we do more? And on the fourth board, you might already guess it, what should we do less? So these are the four questions, basically. You can also ask a fifth question, and the fifth question would be, what else? What is it that we don't see, but that is important from your point of view? And these four boards are standing in a room. And these questions are the headlines on the board. And in the room, we have the whole system. And by the whole system, I mean everyone who is affected by the change, represented by at least one person. So if you have 500 people in 10 departments, you get one person from every department at least. So 10 departments, 10 people, up to 20 people. Participation is voluntary. And people gather in this room every six to eight weeks. It don't have to be the same people. 
every time people can change, but every department has to send at least one representative and they are gathering in the room. Many more, as many as you need. And what we are asking them to do is to write cards, these little cards that you might know from group facilitation. And every idea to each of these questions has to be put on one card. And those cards are being placed on the boards. And after that is being done, so people can scramble all over the place and put their cards onto the boards. After this is being done, we need one facilitator. Actually, we need two, but one person who is facilitating the process by going to each and every board and reading each and every card and asking clarifying questions. Don't justify yourself if people complain about something, and usually people will complain, especially if this is the first sounding board you are conducting, people will complain. Don't justify yourself, don't justify the organization, just ask clarifying questions and prepare feedback. And to be able to do that in a very structured way, it is helpful to have someone else who supports you with doing the minutes of the meeting. So after six to eight weeks, we are going to provide feedback in between. And the feedback is answering questions people have asked. So we are creating a feedback loop, basically. We get feedback, we feed back, and then we close this room. And it's called a sounding board because people have to collect ideas that they put on cards before the meeting. So they should go into the departments and ask them, how do you feel? What is going well in the process? What is going bad? What should we do more, the organization? And what should the organization do less? And there is one tricky thing that they will come up with. They will be considered spies. And that's something that people don't like. And that is very important to address. They're not spies. They are the sounding board. They are putting their ear onto the railroads and listen what is rumbling and what might come up to provide feedback for the organization to help each and every one to make this a better process. So their job is to collect and report on these cards in the sounding board. The first one will, depending on the number of people, you can probably do the math if you have to read each and every card, will take a couple of hours. Plan at least two to three hours for the first sounding board. And then once people realize how this is going, they will become more and more prepared. They will get used to the system. And at one point, the number of time that you will need is reduced significantly. And the last thing that I would recommend is, in the first meeting, use someone external to facilitate that, because like I said, it will be decompressing from the people and it's quite nice to burn someone externally who's getting paid for that, than to burn yourself internally. So this is the original framework from strategy, the ERRC framework from the Blue Ocean Strategy. And it is transferred into a framework and a tool and a method that you can use in change processes.